Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the Cube Orange with the ADS-B in carrier board and I'm going to specifically look at the ADS-B in antenna because I keep seeing a couple of questions around what do I need to do to make sure I'm getting the best signal and can I use an external antenna? So in this video, I'm just going to take you through what the situation is on doing that with this board. Okay, so before we take a close look, I'm just going to explain that this carrier board has its own antenna built in for the ADSB, and it is that little bit of wire there. Now, there is externally no antenna port on this for plugging in an antenna should you wish to use an external one however there is a silk screen on the board for a ufl connector where you could either directly wire this up or solder on a connector yourself and i'm going to take a look at that a little bit closer in a second however if you didn't want to do that i'm just going to talk about a couple of the requirements on making sure that you are getting the best signal and if you are going to use this with the built-in antenna you want to make sure that you are not covering the autopilot with any carbon so if you're going to use a canopy it needs to be a plastic one over the top and not a carbon or metal one obviously because the ADS-B in antenna won't be able to pick up the signal now as I mentioned there is a silk screen on the board that allows you to if you wanted to modify it to allow you to either solder a wire on directly or mount a UFL connector and we're going to take a look at that now to do that the first thing you will need to do is remove the four screws on each side of the autopilot so you've got one two three and four once you've removed them you then have an additional four screws on the bottom you need to remove which is this one this one this one and this one and once you've done that you will be able to actually remove the base plate off the board and it gives you access to the inside of the carrier board OK, taking a look inside compared to the old one, you will see that the Intel Edison port is gone and it has been pretty much redesigned. On the left hand side here is where the ADS-B in receiver is located from UAVonics. Now, when you look at this, you've obviously got the built in chip and it isn't a separate board. It is entirely part of the main carrier board and it has been totally integrated. But as I said, when you look at it and if you look in this top left hand corner, this is where the antenna comes through from the other side of the board you can see it there and this is where it solders on to the main board itself now if you look at it closely you'll notice that it is actually a ufl connector silk screen and you could solder a ufl connector onto it if you wanted to however personally if you did want to use this with an external antenna for the adsb i would simply solder a little length of coax onto there and then bring the connector outside the carrier and then connect it that way rather than have a connector on board because it is quite small and it is quite precise. However, the silk screen for the connector is there and it is available for you to modify for your own use. As it stands, Profi, do not put the UFL connector on as standard. You would have to do it yourself. And overall, it's as simple as that. Now, I'm about to start a build with this one, and I'm going to be doing a few more videos on that over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be putting it into a hex, and I'm going to be taking you through setting up Ardra Pilot on the Cube Orange and getting it all up and running. And I just wanted to do this one before I actually mounted it in the frame because it would be a lot more difficult to do it at that point. Now, as I did say at the start, if you're going to put this in a frame and you are going to use a canopy, make sure that it is plastic and it isn't carbon fiber or metal but you do have that option for that external antenna there if you want it as well now if you want to pick up the new cube orange or the adsb carrier or anything around this ecosystem you can check out 3dxr they're a dealer there's a link to them in the description of this video as well they have pretty much everything you ever need for ardra pilot and the cube pilot systems that's it thank you for watching and i will do another video again soon please do subscribe to the channel and check out all of the other videos we have available. They are also split into playlists to help you easily find the ones that are relevant to you. If you would like to support the channel, please check out the links that are in the description for each video. You will find the links for the products we've been talking about and it's only by you guys purchasing via these links that allows us to keep making videos and buy products to talk about in the future. 
Please also check us out and follow us on all of the social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. We're beginning to build these accounts up and whilst it is early days, I would appreciate it if you would like, share and follow us on these platforms. Finally, please also check out my website, www.madrc.com. Now, this is somewhere that we've been putting some of our blog posts and things like that over the last couple of years. So if you're interested in having a look, please do go check it out. That is it. Please do click that subscribe button. Thank you very much. And I will do another video again soon.